What's up guys and Samsung has learned a lot in just a couple of months. After the Galaxy S20 family, Samsung is seriously trying not to disappoint their users but bringing technologies earlier than anyone else. As we have heard from last video, Galaxy S21 is all set to rock Exynos 1000 chipset with AMD's RDNA graphics architecture and our most powerful cores to rival the Snapdragon 875. But speaking of this year's Galaxy Note 20, so we already know now that Exynos 990 will not going to be inside of the Note 20 family but the Exynos 992. And from a couple of weeks, we all are expecting Exynos 992 to be a tweaked version of the Exynos 990. But it seems like Samsung is planning a pretty big chip upgrade this year with the Galaxy Note 20 family. According to a new report out of South Korea reveals that Samsung has completed the development of 5mm Exynos chips and the mass production will begin in the month of August. Now ZDNet Korea further reveals that this new 5 nanometer chip is actually an Exynos 992. Yes, the same chip set that is expected to power the Galaxy Note 20 family. And no things haven't done yet, it's all set to rock ARM's latest Cortex A78 cores which were just announced along with the newly announced Mali G78 GPU which brings over 25% improvement in performance and graphics. Of course not at the level of AMD's GPU but still better, quite better than the one used in the Galaxy S20 family. And the 5 nanometer process node will bring over 50% efficiency gains in the Exynos 992. So Samsung is packing all the good gains of next year in this year's Exynos chipset. But wait, here's a catch. ZDNet Korea reveals that Samsung's semiconductor division is ready to mass produce this new Exynos 992 chipset with Cortex A78 cores, Mali G78 GPU, and with 5 nanometer of process node. But they are waiting for Samsung's smartphone division's decision of whether or not to use it in the Galaxy Note 20 family, which pretty much means that it's not finalized yet. Of course, Samsung's semiconductor division is capable of producing this 5 nanometer chip. But Rote Moon or TMRO and his team will decide whether or not it should go inside of the Galaxy Note 20. If Rote Moon really supports 5 nanometer fabrication this year, then Galaxy Note 20 will go into the first industry first phone rocking a 5 nanometer chip before anyone else before Huawei which usually launches their phones first with newer process node. Also, you guys remember there was a leak says that Galaxy Note 20 could have a battery capacity of 4000 mAh, but now the certification reveals that it's not true. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 will rock 4300 mAh battery and the Note 20 Plus will be having a 4500 mAh cell combined with LTPO 120Hz display to consume less battery than ever. Also, Galaxy Club has leaked the color variants of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Personally, after seeing this design, I was expecting Note 10 like colors with the Note 20 as well, but it seems like it's not the case. The smaller Galaxy Note 20 model will be offered in grey, green and copper and the Note 20 Plus will have black and copper colors, similar thing what they have done with the S20 family. So this is all on the Galaxy Note 20. Now all eyes are on the Rote Moon. Hopefully TMR will decide in favor of superior Exynos chipset. So yeah, that said, let me know are you excited for the Galaxy Note 20 family and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.